hello everyone welcome to the new video on azure backup server and uh, today i'll show you how you can create a schedule and run a backup of your domain controller so if you've been following this track in the last video we installed the agent on our domain controller and we also configured the storage pool so as you can see that we have 10 gig of free space available and dc1 is my domain controller and i'm on the abs which is the azure backup server on-prem so the first thing you have to do to create a backup schedule is to create a protection group. So you will highlight protection and you'll click on the new button. And there is a wizard which will open and you select next. And because we'll be backing up domain controller, so you select servers, select next. And over here, uh, we have both the servers listed ABS as well as DC1. So you expand DC1 and uh, you expand all volume, expand my C drive. And for this demo, I will back up a uh, folder with the name test. So let me just show you. So if I go on my domain controller, let me log in. will open my file explorer and uh, open the C drive and here I have a folder with the name test so what I'll do is that for this demonstration we'll be backing up this uh, test folder so let me close this and uh, go back to my ABS server highlight test and you select next and uh, here you can give the name for the protection group. So let me give the name DC1 protection. And I want to back up to the disk. So you leave to the default. Now I have not configured any uh, cloud backup in Azure. So I will uh, uh, deselect this one and select next. And I'll leave this to the default, but obviously you can modify everything over here. But for this demonstration, leave that to the default and select next. And here you get a red cross sign which says that there is insufficient free space in the storage pool for this protection group. So what you can do is, or the workaround for this one is, you click on the modify button. And uh, over here, it says that you can store the replica volume and recovery point volume either in DPM storage pool or on custom volume. Now if you use the storage pool which we'll be using in this demonstration, we can specify the size of the replica volume and recovery point volume. So as you can see that by default it is 14.1 uh, and uh, the space that we have available is 10 gig. So that's why it's showing a green check mark. So let me just make this 1 gig. And also for the recovery point, I'll make it one gig too. Now there are certain basic requirements to run, uh, to have replica volume and recovery point. I think one gig is the minimum. So that's why I'm making one gig. So you'll select okay. And you hit next. And it is asking automatically uh, replica in DPM uh, server automatically uh, over the network so if we want to do it now and you otherwise if you want to do manually you can select over here and you select next and run a consistency check if a replica becomes inconsistent so yes I want to do that and you will hit create group so the group creation is in progress so it's formatting and as you can see that the result is successful so you'll close this and replica creation is in progress. So let's wait for the successful notification. So as you can see that we got the successful notification and our test folder was backed up. So this was a demonstration of uh, how to create a protection group and run a backup. In the next video, I'll show you how you can do the recovery. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.